Revelator, aggregator. So normally I'm not the biggest fan of the failing New York Times. However, in this instance, I may have to white knight for them a little bit. This past Thursday in their international edition, they ran a cartoon where President Orange Guy, wearing a skull cap or a yarmulke, is also wearing blind people glasses, being led around by a dog with the face of B.B. Netanyahu, who is wearing a Star of David around his neck. Also, P.S., the Star of David is not originally a Jewish symbol. It's a hoogie-boogie-woogie Babylonian pagan occult witchcraft symbol. Now, in spite of the fact that super Zionist Trump is being led around by Ashkenazi Pole Bibi Netanyahu, by Pole I mean Polish, Netanyahu's not his family's original name, they changed it. And in spite of the fact that Chabad Lubavitcher Wonder Boy first son-in-law Jared Kushner is screaming for an end to the two-state solution. And in spite of the fact that Rabbi Shmuley Botich, Botech, not sure how you say it, in spite of the fact that Rabbi Shmuley Botich is screaming for an end to the two-state solution. Another quick aside, Rabbi Botich was a huge buddy of the late pedophile, allegedly, Michael Jackson. That's neither here nor there at this point. Just thought I would bring it up to y'all's attention. And in spite of the fact that, as a reward for President Orange Guy's lapdogish ways, B.B. says he's going to name a Golan Heights town after Trump. In spite of all these aforementioned things, everybody piled on to the poor old failing New York Times and declared this cartoon to be anti-Semitic. I would respectfully postulate and state, for the record, that the truth is not anti-Semitic. All present facts and circumstances on the ground clearly indicate that President Orange Guy is a super Zionist doing whatever Bibi Netanyahu tells him to do. However, Zionist News Daily of America, a.k.a. Breitbart, and President Orange Guy Jr., and all of the usual suspects have screamed bloody murder and had a hissy fit, and finally, like a bunch of cowards, the New York Times has caved and has apologized for this cartoon. Now... Maybe they could have left the yarmulke off President Orange Guy. But otherwise, I don't really see how it's anti-Semitic. But of course, they scre- these Zionists scream about everything being anti-Semitic. They've done it for years. Anytime anyone dares to criticize the actions of the nation-state of Israel... It's anti-Semitic. Now, y'all know me. I love all God's children. Even those children of God that have fallen and lost their way. And again, this video is in no way meant to criticize the legitimate seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But I just felt like all this had to be addressed. Father God bless you all. Jesus Christ saves and stay in the positive power of the Holy Spirit.